October morning in 1891. The place is Bollington, Cheshire, England. When Annie Chadwick gave birth to a baby boy whom most today would consider to have been a genius. His name was James Chadwick. When James was a boy, he attended the Bollington Cross COV Primary School and also attended the Central Grammar School for Boys in Manchester. Following high school, James attended Manchester University and Cambridge University, earning a major in physics. In 1913, Chadwick went to Germany to work with Hans Gregor at the Technical University of Berlin, where he also worked with Ernest Rutherford, another legendary scientist. He was there in the start of World War I and was interned and served as a prisoner of war in a POW camp outside Berlin. During his time stationed in this camp, James worked with a man who was known as Charles Ellis. Together the two worked on the ionization of phosphorus and also on the photochemical reaction of carbon monoxide and magnesium. For many people who did not know, James Chadwick was a man who discovered the neutron. And for many people who do not know what a neutron is, a neutron is a small particle of matter in an atomic nucleus that has a neutral charge. Okay, so the year was 1913 in a laboratory in England. James Chadwick noticed an unidentified foreign particle, or UFP. Chadwick found that this particle lacked any sort of charge. He then enabled this particle, a neutron, because it had no charge or it was neutral. This was key to his work on the fission of uranium. The neutron was so crucial to this project because neutrons do not need to overcome a column barrier, meaning that they can just split the nuclei of even the heaviest element. Once Chadwick found the neutron, he did not waste time in making sure the world knew about his discovery. After his great feat was known by all, in 1935, the Nobel Prize Committee made James Chadwick the 1935 Nobel Prize winner for his discovery of the neutron. In 1935, James Chadwick went to Liverpool and became a professor at the University of Liverpool. He then was appointed to the Lyon Jones Chair of Physics at the University, which led to him being appointed to the MAUD Committee in 1940 to help research the feasibility of the atomic bomb. What are your thoughts on atomic bombs, Chadwick? Is it possible? Not only is it possible, Chadwick, it's inevitable. In 1943 until 1946, Chadwick worked for the United States. He was part of the group of people who developed the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan in World War II. Chadwick was knighted by Queen Mary. He will forever be known as Sir James Chadwick. Chadwick co-authored a book called Radiations and Radioactive Substances, which dealt with elements such as uranium and their isotopes. Besides the Nobel Prize, Chadwick has earned many honors such as the Hughes Medal and the Franklin Medal. Some personal information about Chadwick is he was married to Eileen Stewart Brown in 1925 and they gave birth to twins shortly after and lived in Denby, North Wales, England. His favorite hobbies were things such as gardening, fishing, and also serving as a member of the UKEA until July 24th, 1974, when James died at the age of 82 years old. Although he has passed on and is not with us anymore, Sir James Chadwick lives on through all of his extraordinary discoveries. And